Rockstar, Coach Nisha here with your shredded biceps, triceps, and abs workout. So today's programming is going to be three different supersets, each consisting of a timed, sort of more high intensity move, and then a strength move. So for your equipment, you're going to need a variety of weighted objects, and then an optional elevated surface, if you like to have that handy for planks or burpees. So let's get into that. Speaking of planks, we're going to start with that move. It's going to be a walking plank to two knees in. So you're welcome to start on your elevated surface or on your mat. So meet me in a tall plank. This is gonna be for time, 45 seconds. So go ahead and meet me with your shoulders over your wrists, core is braced, back is flat, gaze is neutral. And then, um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, <laughs> drop your left elbow down, then drop your right elbow down. Plant your left palm, plant your right palm, and then drive right knee, left knee, and repeat. Awesome work. Try to be mindful that you're not shifting your hips side to side. You're really trying to stabilize through those hips so that you can, that's really gonna give you a lot of the core work here. And don't let those hips start to lift or sag. This wicker is not nice to my elbows. And feel free to switch up which side you start the drop down of the elbows. And last three, two, one. Awesome work. Any nice deep breath. That was a great warm up move. We're gonna move on to our strength move of the superset, which is a 45 degree bicep curl. We'll be working in the eight to 12 breath range. And since this is our first round, feel free to start a little lighter to feel out where your body is today with her energy levels. So, meeting me standing, you can also do the sitting if that's more comfortable in your body. Skeleton stacked, core is braced, <sighs> chest is upright, and shoulders are locked down into your upper back. <sighs> so we're gonna angle out our arms about 45 degrees, and then curl it up. <sighs> Noticing what's happening in those shoulders. Are they wanting to shrug or round forward? Try to keep them nice, and locked in there. And you want your elbows to remain stationary beside your rib cage. So they're not flaring out, they're not squeezing in either. We just don't want them to move around to compensate, to lift these weights. Awesome. Stopping whenever you reach your max rep range, which means you can't do any more without compensating in this form. All right, that's my last one. Take your time though, finish up your set. Bend your knees to set those weights down safely. And meet me at the top of that super set. Now, if I'm ever going any, what am I saying? If I'm ever going too quickly for you, feel free to pause the video. You don't have to match my timing. I'm just here to guide you for the moves. You make this work out your own. So meet you in a tall plank, on your elevated surface, or on the mat. And here we go, walk that plank. Nice and controlled, run those knees. You can just step them to make it slightly less high impact. Just really use that core to drive those knees in. Awesome, and you can also drop the knees here for this walking plank. If you are dropping the knees, I want you to be mindful that you're not letting that butt start to lift. You wanna still keep that body in that nice straight line as you move down. Awesome work. Last 10 seconds, you've got this. Feel free to switch up which side. You drop those elbows, if you can remember. And last two, one. I forgot the mountain climbers there, in between there. I'm sure you were doing it over there. Okay, just kind of a quick sip of water. Let's move back up to those bicep curls. Reflect on how you felt the last round. If you felt like you could do way more than 12 reps and you have the option to go higher with those weights, try it out, see how you feel. So make you standing, eight to 12 reps. Get yourself set up with a nice strong foundation. And here we go, 45 degree curl. Making sure you are breathing consciously. Getting that oxygen flowing. 
through that body. And if you do want to challenge yourself more, but you don't have those heavier weight options, you can just slow down that descent. Notice when you start to slow it down, you might start to creep those shoulders forward or up. Try to fight that. <laughs> awesome. I've got two left. Nope, I had one left. <laughs> and when you're done, bend your knees, set the weights down. Well done. We have one more round of that superset. We're flying through this. So, 45 seconds or 30 seconds if that feels better in your body. Feel free to stop at any time. Getting into that plank walkout. <sighs> Coming onto your fists if your wrists are a bit tender. And here we go, nice tall plank. Let's walk those elbows down and then onto your palms and then drive those knees. Awesome work. <sighs> if you need a little help with not letting those hips shift side to side, you can take your feet a little wider it's gonna give you a more stable base there. Awesome. Halfway there. Woo! Feeling that burn. The more you try to stabilize through those hips, the more your core is gonna be working. And we wanna give ourselves a really good challenge today, right? That's how we're gonna get stronger. So do your best. Last two. One. Awesome. That was our last time doing that. All right. So getting right back into the bicep curls. Last set, best set of this one. So eight to 12 reps. The heavier you go, typically the less reps you'll be able to do. So standing nice and stacked skeleton, core is braced, chest up tall. Here we go. Even if you aren't consciously slowing down that descent to create more of a challenge for yourself, still try to control that descent. We don't want to let gravity just knock us down. So we want to protect those joints. Okay, I have one left here. When you're ready, bend your knees. Set the weights down. I've got cat hair on my legs. All right, well done. Let's take an official little breather. Just shake out those arms a little bit. If you're really feeling it like I am. And our next superset is gonna be a cross cross side side for our time to move. And then a three point tricep kick back. So, no weights needed for this first one. Meet me standing. This is going to be for 45 seconds. So hands behind your head. Nice and tall, core is based. We're going to drive that left knee to the right elbow, right knee to left elbow, and then left knee to left elbow, right knee to right elbow. Awesome. As you're doing this, I really want you to think of driving the knees up more than you're taking those elbows down. So I'm not looking down to bring my elbow to my knee. Stay nice and upright. And really using that core to drive it up and over, drive it up to the side, getting those obliques rocking. Awesome. And last five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Now, our three point tricep kickbacks. We're gonna do this one side at a time. So if you are aware of the strength levels in each side, like you know that one side maybe isn't as strong as the other, I want you to start on the weaker side because we're gonna be matching reps here. So if you start on your weaker side, you can match those reps on your stronger side and over time you'll start to even out that strength. So for me, my weaker side is my left side. So meet me in we need a bit of a lunge position. Hips are relatively square, the wall in front of you. And you're gonna plant whichever side uh, you're not using is the knee that's in front. 
and that hand on that knee. All right, draw that elbow up. I'm just gonna refer to this as left side because that's what I'm doing. Left elbow in line with your spine and then kick back that elbow. Awesome. You're rotating that thumb towards your body so that your palm is starting to rotate towards the ceiling. You'll notice how much more that really rocks that tricep. Pause for just a second or millisecond at the top. Really squeeze that tricep. Awesome. Gaze is neutral. Don't look down. I tend to do that as well. I'm reminding myself just as much as I'm reminding you. Awesome. Keep that core braced. I'm not leaning on my knee. I'm just kind of placing it there so that my core really has to work to keep me upright and in this strong position. All right, that's my last one. Switch sides when you're ready. Remember, we're matching reps. Leg opposite to the working side. It's gonna be bent in front. Nice, strong position before you even get started. Feel that core working, feel this bent leg glute working to stabilize. Elbow bent, kick it back. Awesome, neutral gaze. Strong, long spine, rotating that thumb towards your body, palm towards the ceiling. Whew. Really, just that slight rotation really, really makes a difference. Whew. Slight squeeze at the top before you lower back down with control. Awesome, try not to let those shoulders start to round forward. You're really keeping those shoulders locked into their upper back pockets here. Check your gaze. I was looking down. <laughs> Make those corrections. Awesome. That's my last one. Finish up your set in your own time. Bending your knees to that weight down. Well done. So that's our second superset. When you're ready, we're going to get right into that cross, cross, side, side. 45 seconds. Woo, my triceps are still feeling the afterburn here. Okay, here we go. Can you see any hands behind your head? Let's get straight to it. Cross, cross, side, side. Awesome. And feel free to slow it down if you like. Really taking the time to rotate that knee out. Drive it up. This is a whole different type of workout. If you pause at the top here, you're gonna have to hold that core. Or you could take it nice and quick. It depends on what you're looking for today. So good. <laughs> you got this last 10 seconds. Whoops. It's okay if you get a little uncoordinated, just keep moving. And last two, one. Well done. Gonna get right back into the three point tricep kickback. So how did you feel last round? Did you notice what you thought was your weaker side was actually your stronger side. That happens to me all the time. Depends on how your body's aligned today. Maybe you might be sort of leaning in one direction a little more than the other. That can really affect the way that your muscles connect to each other and work together. So all these things are great to notice and take note of for future reference. Anyway, let's get to it. So you're on your weaker side. Nice and set up, eight to 12 reps, matching reps. Nice, strong core and back. Elbow by your side. Gaze is neutral. <laughs> You're doing awesome. We're over halfway done with this workout. So quick. Don't let that shoulder start to round. Mine feels like it wants to, but I'm keeping it locked in. Awesome work. That's my last one. Switch sides when you're ready. And match those reps. I always take a good moment to really stabilize myself in this position, getting my hips nice and set up strong before I get started. That way I don't have to worry about that while I'm rocking these triceps. I can feel my legs supporting me nice and strong. And you may have to make little adjustments here and there. I noticed that my right 
hip was kind of anteriorly tilted, so I made a little tiny tuck motion there. That may be helpful for you, or may not. We have very different bodies. <laughs> Rotating that palm. Ooh, don't let that shoulder round. This is my last one. Well done, bend your knees. Set that weight down. Final time for this superset. Right? Yeah, I've only done it twice. <laughs> okay, here we go. Getting into the cross, cross, side, side. Let's get started. Hands behind your head. Cross, cross, side, side. Awesome. You can also adjust which side you start on to kind of trick your brain a little bit. Make it a little more interesting. So left, right, left, right, and then right, left, right, left. Awesome. Whoop. It does get me confused when I'm trying to talk to you and do it at the same time though, so I'm just gonna stick with the same one. Last 10 seconds. So good. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. Whew, I'm sweaty. Okay. Final time for our three point tricep kickbacks. If you are so inclined, feel free to make this your most challenging set yet. If you feel good where you were, don't let me pressure you. Do what your body is asking, not what I'm telling you. So here we go. I'm going to try to go a tiny bit higher, see what happens which means I'll probably be able to do as many. That is the way it works. All right, set yourself up. Hips relatively square, nice and strong through those legs. Back is flat. You may surprise yourself with how strong you are, which is why it's good to every now and then try maybe a pound or two heavier than you usually use. If you start and you're like, Nah, this is not it today. Go ahead and switch back out. That's totally fine. But taking those little moments of exploration can teach you a lot about your body. Woo, that's my last one. Switch your sides when you're ready. Nice, strong setup. There we go. Awesome work. Gaze is neutral. I know those triceps are tired, mine are shaking like crazy so good don't let that shoulder round forward oh my gosh <laughs> i have one less there we go finish up your set bend your knees plant those weights down and let's have a celebratory sip of amino acids or water so our final super set. You ready? It's gonna be burpees and skull crushers. So, either on your mat or on your elevated surface, we'll go for those burpees for 45 minutes, seconds, not minutes. Whew, that would be terrible. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Starting now, plant your hands, jump or step it back. Get that push up in, nice flat back. Jump or step it forward and either do it. A jump or just a regular body squat. Awesome. And you can always switch between the modification and the full option. Really notice what's happening in your core. You wanna keep it strong. As we move through this whole move, you don't wanna release it at any point. Even if you're taking the low impact version, it's a great opportunity to focus on that engagement. And last five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Well done. All right. Skull crushers. So, this is another tricep move. So, you're going to meet me on your back and you can have one or two weighted objects in your hands. I like to have one. 
And you're gonna meet me with that within reach on your back. So get that core braced. It's a little tucked that pelvis. Your lower back is gently pressing into the mat. It's gonna fully engage the core. Take that single or double weight up overhead. Now I want you to take a moment to tuck those shoulder blades into that upper back, but don't lose that core engagement and that contact of your lower back. Elbows are rotating towards each other. Slight angle here. Bend at the elbows. Straighten at the elbows. Awesome. We're working eight to 12 reps here. Do not lose that core engagement. We want to maintain that blueberry spine, as the Betty Rocker likes to call it. And really keeping that core braced and keeping those shoulder blades tucked into their pockets in your upper back is going to force you to use those triceps, especially rotating those elbows in slightly towards each other. You're trying to keep those arms relatively parallel. All of these little actions are going to ensure that you are really using those triceps to lift this weight up. And that's my last one. Well done. All the sweat is pouring. Roll on up. How did you do? How did you feel with that one? Make note of it now so that the next round, you can make those adjustments, which is gonna help you to continue to progress. So, burpees, it's time. You ready? Let's do it. I'm gonna do this one that's time. Set this over there. 45 seconds. Here we go. Plant those hands. Jump or step it. Get that push up in. Jump or step it and then hop it. Awesome. You can always drop your knees during these push ups as well. It's a great modification, especially as we start to get fatigued here. You're doing amazing. Let's finish strong. We're almost there. No shame in taking any modifications at any time. I want you to think about supporting your body, not your ego. So good. I know, I'm getting tired too. And remember, if you're on your knees, keep that straight line in your body as you push it up. And last three, two, one. Awesome work. Catch your breath. Slow it down. If you ever find that you're really out of breath, a great way to calm that heart rate is to focus on slowing down those inhales and exhales through your nose. It's really hard to do though. <laughs> but if you focus on that just for a couple of seconds, the difference is astounding. All right, into those skull crushers. Choose your weight. <laughs> Maybe on your back and get that core braced. Shoulder blades tucked into their pockets. We're not arching our spine. We're not tucking them so far down that we create this arch. Right? Just a little bit. Just so they're nice and cozy in there. And here we go. When you're ready, of course, sometimes I tend to go on and on about those little details and form before we even get started. Maybe they help you. I hope they do. All right. Keep breathing. Don't lose that core engagement. Keep rotating those elbows in towards each other, keeping those upper arms relatively parallel. Holy smokes, it is burning. <laughs> Okay, that's my last one. Awesome work. And it's okay if you can only go a little lighter on this option compared to especially those kickbacks we did earlier because we've already done a lot on our triceps. So probably gonna be feeling this one tomorrow. Okay, final round of the entire workout. Muster up all of the fire in your belly. Let's get this going. Our best set yet. So burpees, 45 seconds. You've got this, here we go. Plant your hands, jump or step it, get that push up in. Keep it up, gaze is neutral. When you're landing with those feet, 
You're trying to land as quietly as possible. Thinking that way is going to help you to really use those stabilizer muscles. Oh, halfway there. I got to drop my knees. Because I don't want you to start sort of rolling through these push-ups. Keep it strong. Oh, oh my gosh, my triceps are on fire. Last three, two, one. No, it doesn't really use your triceps, but they're involved. And boy, can I feel it. Okay, final move. Let's wipe that sweat. It's getting into that time of year where I'm gonna need a sweat towel. I'm gonna have a quick sip before we finish this off. Okay, eight to 12 reps, maybe on your back. Okay, core is braced, shoulder blade blocked, arms slightly angled. Let's do it. Really push yourself. You've got it, don't lose that core engagement. She's gonna work to stabilize you here so you can hold those arms in that slightly angled position and control this weight with those triceps. Holy smokes, oh, so shaky. Come on, you got it, give it your all. I've got one left. Oh, oh boy, set that weight aside. Roll it on over. Well done. That was a great workout. Give me a high five. You crushed that. Thank you for showing up for yourself and joining me today. I encourage you to take this time to stretch it out while you're still warmed up. It doesn't have to be super long. Just get a little extra oxygen into those joints. So until we meet again, I'll see you next time.